Hi everyone, today I would like to introduce how to deploy a smart character in the silent mode from a native server which is not supported UI. A smart character installed in the silent mode that allow you to record the installation parameter in a property file which can be used later to install the same character in an unattended mode. This is the useful feature we can help you to deploy multiple identical characters such as a system of diamond character in the same server with the same configuration and in a nano server with not support the UI it uh, it's really really hard for you to run the command to record the parameter in a property file because it's not support with the GUI uh, like you can see here I have a smart character that install framework and now I will try to run the command to add it in the record the UI like you can see if we run this command the agent setup will be start and checking if the server support with the GUI mode or not. If it is support with GUI mode, a power up window will appear and ask you to type the name of the property file and the target part where you want to store the file. But like you can see, because my Nano server is not support with the GUI mode, you can see it's your power up that the wizards could not connect to an X11 display and you need to set display variable to start the wizard in the UI mode uh, because there's no UI mode support it will fall back to the console mode and you will not be able to type the name of the property file to install it in the sign mode and there's no target part for you uh, so how to resolve this? in this case I will need to use another third party application such as Xming server to let the putty can be support with the GUI mode. So the first thing we need to install this in our Windows server. Uh, because I use the putty portable, so I will choose this option. Okay, when the Xming finishes to install stones, please uh, finish and launch it. It's like you can see, the Xming is now running in the background of the server. Now I will need to configure the Putty to let it communicate with the Xming server so this can support with the X11 display. Uh, in this console, I will need to use uh, the S8, X11, and was uh, X11 porting. And now go to the session. I will choose the connector IP where I want to install the connector in the silent mode. And you can check in the X11 config. We need to enable the X11 porting here and the X display location is the local host. Now we log into the server. For now, the putty has to connect with the Xming server and its support with GUI. We can check with some simple command like xclock. You can see a, a Xming display, a pop up window here with the clock symbol. Check with just XRs. Okay, so if you uh, see this results, this means the server is ready for the connector installed in the sign mode now. Now I will go to the OPT silent current pin. 
I will run the command run is in setup. So minus I record the UI and press enter. Okay, you can see a, a wizard pops up here we can allow you to enter the name of the signed property file and the installation target folder okay, so in here i will set the name is test silence and the installation target folder should be obt test silent next i will put the parameter for us unique id here with three random number Press next. I will choose the syslog diamond connector. Here I will set the port if I want five. Next. Just five and four. And here I will choose the yes destination. Silent location should be CM. Okay, it's done. Uh, I will let it. So to install as a standalone application and when I done I click this is okay now we go to the folder to check and you if you go to the current folder you will see a file named test silent which con uh, if you catch the content of this you will see the parameters that you use to install your Connector. For example, the installation part and the assignation setup property. And if I check in the ESM, I will see the connector already added to this location. Now I will need to copy this sign file to uh, another location Okay, in this folder, I have created a folder named test silent with the same part, like the characters that I have installed in the previous server. For now, what I need to do is I need to copy the silent file to that server. Okay, check. Okay, you can see the far test silent has been copied to this folder in this new server. 
And before we install the new connector under sign mode, we need to modify a little bit with this sign file. Uh, please take a look into this line xi underscore agent setup underscore property because we put it under the opt as silent folder so we need to remove this current and keep it like this it should be the same but with your folder opt test silent where the file location and because i have the character with the name test silent in the ESM console. I don't want it to have the same name, so I will change the character name in this file. Also, I will change this from test silent to a demo silence. Let's save it. You can also change some other parameters such as the location for the connector and the port if you want. Okay, now I will go to the folder where I store the installation file and I run the command so, minus a silent minus app. Now you need to put the part where the test silent file that you store. In this case, I store the test silent file property file under the opt test silent folder. So I will put this part into the connector installation. Okay. When the command is excused, it you will it will install the character silently, and if you duplicate one more session check you will see the character is running Okay, now we can see from the ESM destination, it has another new connector named Demo Silence that already added. And we will check, check, see if the connector is, is the installation. Yep. You can see the parameter has been added successfully. And the connector has the same parameter with the previous one. Okay, so this is how we install smart connector in the sign mode.